both had the final instructions in the dressing room, you know what I expect, a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. 12 rounds, lads, touch gloves. Denzel Bentley coming out of that blue corner in the silver and white. He is the reigning defending British middleweight champion, the challenger Marcus Morrison in the white and gold. The, the perfect time for the pair of the world. He left hand on the inside there from Bentley as Morrison looked to try and close in and swing that right hand. Morrison takes a jab there, but this has been an aggressive start and he sees an opening there as he pushed Bentley back towards the ropes. I think he felt that he had Bentley hurt there, the way that he responded there. Marcus yep. Morrison, he's got to set it up. Morrison now coming forward. Yeah, he's got to set it up better with that left hand, but Bentley comes back with a good right hand in his own hand. Nice combination from Bentley, but Morrison's defence there was fairly solid. Bentley's corner just ushering him in. And Morrison just throws a right hand off the back foot there, and that caught Bentley. When he's at that kind of mid-range, Bentley, and digs those toes in and lets those hands go, he looked dangerous, but Morrison had those gloves up in place. Yes, some of it got through, but most of it he kept out, but the left hand got through there towards the end. Blood coming out of the end of the nose there of Marcus Morrison, and that is a fantastic opening three minutes. Well, what a tremendous start to the contest for both boxers. Morrison landed the first shot, but Bentley came back towards the end of the round. And watch Morrison here, just... Pickaboo style, but then catches Bentley again right towards the end. It's a close round, but for me, Morrison nicks it on that early better pressure. Kind of strafing right hand there from Bentley, wasn't too far away from the target. And Morrison just knocked back onto his heels there in the far corner. Bentley looking to try and work the body. Morrison trying to throw off the ropes. That nose has been uncorked again here very early in the second round. And these two just in a firefight here. What a response from Bentley. He may have been told that he lost that first round, I don't know, but he's certainly come out and the momentum is with him. Big Morrison's combination there for dangerous. Bentley. Right hand just comes crashing through off the back of six or seven shots there. Finishing the round just slightly better, good shot from him, and then Morrison comes back again. What a cracking contest. And it's made for a terrific spectacle so far. Nice round, I just thought Bentley probably edged it. The better work Second in the shot. opening part of the round, Morrison came back. Good right hand there from Bentley, but Morrison again takes it well. Yes, he takes a shot well, does Morrison, and that's when, that's when he's probably most dangerous. If Bentley overreaches and falls in, that's when Morrison comes back, so he's got to be he's got to watch what he's doing, Bentley, as he's actually working and going forward. Just got caught by a left hand there, Bentley, as he was trying to pull back out. Every now and again he does that, the chin comes up a bit, he stands a bit tall. Right hand there from Bentley, and he's taking this so far I just wonder about that nose of Morrison it's tempting to think it's broken because of all the blood it might not be but if it is then that can affect the breathing it can really be a, a difficulty good solid right hand there from Bentley Morrison backed up to the ropes in a bit of trouble here Bentley looking to try and unload for the one-twos, Bentley. Morrison opened up and tried to throw that right hand back, and he still looks dangerous when he does that. But again, Bentley has made a, a good start to this round, some swelling underneath that left eye of Morrison, and he does hit hard, Bentley. He's one of these fighters, as I say, he doesn't load up on everything. It might not look like there's a huge amount on these shots, but they are heavy enough, they are plenty heavy enough, and you can tell that from the state of... Morrison's face and he's taken them well so far, but how long can you keep taking them for? That is the question as Bentley digs down to the body and then goes up top. Morrison tries to climb into a big left hook, but just gets fed another couple of solid shots. That head is being snapped back regularly now, and this is getting very hard for him in there, Rich. Yeah, Bentley is just gradually grinding Morrison down. He's getting busted up in there at the minute. We know that he's got minerals, we know that. He showed that against Jason Wellborn. He showed it for a shorter while against Zach Parker and Joe Gallagher has stepped through the ropes and stopped the fight. And I make that a good decision by the trainer. Marcus Morrison doesn't like it, but he has been surgically dissected there, really, 
by Denzel Bentley in that round that we have just seen. And the pressure was just relentless, Rich. He was just on him and on him and on him. Short shots, as I say, not winding up with everything, looking for the accuracy, the left into the body there. Sustained pressure, wasn't it, from Bentley? He kept it going, little shots on the inside there. The referee jumps in, but Joe Gallagher jumped in before that blood coming from the nose. Yes, it was um, a good, dominant display from Bentley, and yet I thought that, that Morrison actually won the first round. He started this contest very well indeed. At the time of exactly two minutes in the fourth round, your referee, Kevin Parker, calls a halt to this contest, accepting the towel of the red corner. Therefore, your winner by TKO, 